my name is Joshua Whitener, if you don't already know me. I'm the son of Sadie Whitener and BJ Whitener. And I am talking to you today as the head of the elections committee. Um, I, we have been meeting with legal and tribal administration who have been in contact with public health experts inside and outside the tribe since the beginning of the pandemic. We've been meeting on a generally on a weekly basis, if not more. Um, we've been trying to provide our best assessment on our, on, to get a recommendation um, to council on whether to proceed with the general body meeting or to move forward in another direction. Two weeks before the general body meeting, um, we decided to cancel the event and move to mail-in ballots. Uh, the reasoning for that, um, despite the fact that Mesa County has very good rates when it comes to COVID-19, um, the general body meeting is not a local event. We, of course, invite any travel member in state, out of state, any, anywhere to come to the event. Um, some, some travel members live in locations that have a high pandemic increase um, since the opening in uh, early June. Um, we, we felt that we couldn't continue with the meeting without putting our community at a real risk. Um, the general body meeting also isn't short. We, it generally lasts, um, you know, three or more hours. Um, the longer you're in contact with somebody, uh, the more exposure you have, the more likely you are to become infected. So we didn't feel like, given the setting, it would be safe to hold the general body meeting. So our recommendation was to cancel it. Um, now our second recommendation was to move to move the elections into a mail-in ballot format. It's uh, it's different, um, and I do want to mention that we looked at every option. We we received um, ideas from the community, from through Facebook, through email, through just talking to everyone, and we came to the conclusion that um, the best solution that was both as a first priority was healthy to our uh, and safe for our community. Um, and as a second priority was, uh, most, was the most legal and fair uh, election process would be mail-in ballots. Um, so basically what I'm saying is uh, mail-in ballots meet all the right criteria of being the, the safest election we can have and also meeting all of those uh, checks and balances inside the Constitution and inside our electoral code. The reason we want to follow the Constitution and electoral code is that we want to uh, follow the what was voted in by the general council and general body. It, it, this isn't a time for us to make the changes that we want as a committee. Um, we have to, of course, propose changes to you, the general body, to make and vote on. We cannot just decide to make those changes. So the only changes that we've made, the only things that are uh, potentially against the Constitution are changes that um, we had to make for our community safety. So I'd like to discuss a little bit about the process we, we, we came to, which is the mail-in balloting. Um, so mail-in ballots are going to work a lot like Washington State uh, voting system. So when we get ready, when, once we get a candidates list, um, we are going to mail out the, uh, okay, let me just go back. Okay. <clears throat> um, so let me start over. So the nominations are typically happen on the floor. Um, instead of doing them on the floor, now we're gonna do everything through paper format, which takes a little bit more time and we have to allow notif notification to all the candidates to both respond to their nominations and the nominators to be able to get those forms in. It takes a, about a week to go through that process. Once we have the candidates lists, we are going to provide that list along with our uh, tribal member addresses to an outside consultant called MK Elections. They are going to print the ballots and mail them to you. Um, what you're going to receive is the ballot, uh, a security uh, sheet, and a return envelope. Uh, filling them out is fairly simple. You just fill them out as normal, just fill the box in completely. Um, put them in the return envelope with the security sheet. Security sheet's purpose is so that no one can see your votes by 
peeking through the envelope. Um, what uh, some of the other measures that we take, uh, we have, you, there is an opportunity with the reason um, we extend the election period to be 21 days is that we need to allow for everyone to get their ballots. So if anyone uh, you know, doesn't get their ballot or their ballot is destroyed, they can ask for a, another copy to be sent to them. We have a security system in place that will uh, avoid any ballots that were uh, marked as destroyed or lost. So those count, those will not be counted. Um, the All the ballots are mailed by MK Elections and, and no community member um, or committee member touches a ballot. It goes straight to you, the voter. Once you submit it, fill it out, put it in a um, outgoing mailbox, it goes straight to the post office uh, in Shelton. On election day, uh, <clears throat> MK Elections will meet with our uh, law enforcement and collect the ballots at the post office. Once they've collected them, they will bring them to the reservation where the candidates, representatives, and the elections committee will supervise the counting of the ballots. Um, this is done in a way so that all the, the community members aren't touching uh, any ballots and that every, the whole process is basically transparent and, we, and uh, candidates have an active role or have a participant involved in the process anyway. Um, once we have results, we will post them and make sure that everyone is notified of the results. If a, no, if a runoff is necessary, uh, which is of course likely, we need a majority votes to go into one candidate to not need a runoff. So when a, run, when a runoff is necessary, we will have to run through this process again. Um, the, we won't have to do nominations, but we will have to mail out the ballots, and get them returned and hold another election. And we'll have to do this until all seats are filled. So it does take time. Currently, we're expecting that the first election will be completed and finished by July 25th. The, if a runoff is necessary, uh, that will be completed on August 22nd. Um, it does take a little bit longer, but um, we felt this was the safest, and this was the, from the advice of our legal team, was the closest we could get to our current constitution and electoral code. Um, I can't think of anything else to say on that, but I do want you to all, encourage you all to visit the tribe's website. Um, and go to our election section to kind of review our procedure. We have some frequently asked questions on there. Um, we have our candidates list with everyone that's been nominated. Um, and uh, once they've accepted, we will have that on there as well. So do that. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please email elections at squawkson.us. Um, and uh, 